Hello all, this video is basically a uh, question raised by one of the subscribers within my channel. Uh, so uh, I have posted one video called as how to redirect to login page after logging off from Power Pages site. So in this video, I'm explaining the process of how to uh, log off from your application and then it will get redirected to the sign in page. Now, uh, one of the user, uh, his name is Sheikh Jinay3633, has posted that what if I want to navigate a user to different page on sign out instead of login page? How can we achieve this? Okay, so I'll first explain the scenario. What what is? I'll set some context over around here. So I have a Power Pages site over here, and now if I log in to this Power Pages site using Azure Active Directory authentication. Then uh, then the next action would be definitely uh, I'll try to log that off. So what happens like now I'm going to create student page and if I log this off, it will uh, the prompt will throw me back to the sign in page. OK, so this was a normal behavior. Now the user has requested that uh, why can't we redirect them to some different page. Can we do that? Okay, so that's the first question. Now, the answer is yes, and there are multiple ways through which you can achieve that. Now, again, going back to the design studio, and then if you uh, go to portal management, uh, under portal management, you navigate to web template. Now, this is the place where we have done the setting last time, right? You remember uh, that in the video, uh, which I have shown just now, in that video, I have shown you that one of the uh, hyperlinks uh, for the link slash logout. Okay, now here we are setting the uh, the href to account slash login log off. Okay, so this is the uh, action which we are uh, setting. So what this does is basically it goes to account slash login log off. So it first logs off the logs off from the application and then put the written URL as the sign out URL substitution. Okay. Now, uh, it can be signed URL substitution as well. Okay. But uh, can we uh, uh, redirect the user to some different page? And the answer is yes. So what we can do over here is like if I replace this particular text with a hard coded page. Okay. So if the page is, uh, say, h1 okay if this is my page or maybe my page is say home yes i can do that okay uh now this what what action this will do is like first it will log off from the application and then it will redirect to this home page okay now we don't want to code hard code all this value within this particular code okay within the header web template now what we can do best is uh <coughs> we can make use of something called as snippets or a site markers okay so let me let me create a snippet first uh, let me go into say content snippet and and i already have a snippet over here say rd okay which i have already created called as rd and then it points to home one so home one is like one of the page within my application so i'll show you what i meant so this is the home one page it does not have anything if i go into the page settings you will see the partially or is home one okay now what i can do instead of putting home one over here here instead of putting it over here what i can do i can refer to the site marker okay so coming back to the uh, content snippet so sorry uh, it was content snippet it is not site marker i'll show you site marker uh, after this now here the content snippet is rd okay so then my code will become like this okay here log off written url is then how do we call a content snippet is by putting double braces and calling the snippets. And what is the name of the snippet? Is snippet is RD. Okay. Now, once you're done with this, 
just save it okay and go to your power page site and sync the configuration so you're to sync it multiple times basically uh till the time this configuration gets loaded up okay and once it is all done technically what should happen is it, the user should be redirected to the home one page okay after signing off from the application so let me go into the website after the configurations are synced let me for sign in and i'm in the home page now okay as you see here i'm in the home page so i'm in the login screen i have signed in and if the configurations are synced up then i should be navigating so i'm logging into the website using azure ad and i'm in the create student page so once i log this off now it has taken me to the home one page as you see from the title over here so that means what we have done essentially is we have uh, we've gone into the uh, web template header and then we made that change so we have referenced basically a snippets hd okay now remember one thing which i forgot to tell you that in the snippet hd you need to put slash okay uh, because that's where the url will get completed and then once you have the slash uh, you will have the slash home one or alternatively you can put written url is slash over here you know uh, you can pick and choose whatever you want okay that's it so that's how you uh, reference a snippets uh, component now uh, other thing what you can do over here is you can refer to a site marker so take for example your website if i go into any of the site markers now let's let's go into say h2 site marker okay so let me create one h2 site marker so this is h2 say site marker okay now if you don't know what a site marker is please refer to my video uh, in the playlist uh, so basically we are referring to h2 now okay now this is the h2 site marker i just saved this h2 site marker now again going back to the web template instead of snippets now remove the snippets component over here refer to uh, site marker so the syntax for site marker is site markers and h2 put it a name h2 site marker okay h2 site marker and then you know once you complete this h2 site marker like the site marker syntax you just put dot url so that the url gets referenced and we just escape this characters okay so that's the syntax basically so what i've done is instead of the snippets i'm referring to a site marker now the site marker uh, is like kind of a reference to the page underlying page okay what i'll do i'll just save this now okay let me save and close and go to the power pages site let me sync this up and if all the configuration are sent up correctly then i should be able to navigate to the h2 page okay so i'm in the home page now currently so if you click on home so i'm in the home page i'll sign in i'll sign in with an external account azure active directory and now if i try to log off then you see the url it is now moved to the h2 page now h2 is basically under h1 and that's why you see h1 h2 so if you see over here h2 
and if you go into the page settings it is under h1 so that's why it's showing as h1 slash h2 so that's it folks this is how you uh, basically uh, go into your web templates uh, go into the specific uh, web template say header over here and then try to manipulate the url uh, so the url can be hard coded that the first option what we can do over here is instead of logging off and then written url is like a hard coded link we can put over here or if you don't want that hard coded link then we can use content snippet if that doesn't suffice then make use of site marker now uh, I haven't tried this third, fourth option. Like the fourth option is basically now what we have done is we have redirected to the page which is present in the Power Pages site. Now, what if we want a page uh, to be an external page? Okay. Now, in the site marker uh, here, you don't have any other option, right? You can just put a name, you can put a website, and then you can put a page. Now, this page should be the page within your uh, application, right? Now, uh, we can use uh, say some other reference like say redirects okay so think about it like if you're redirecting it to say page h1 h1 is part of your system but you can like say if if you want to uh, sign out and then put it in say google site okay so i'll just say h1 google so you can put a redirect to your website and you can put h1 as a page which you have and then you can redirect to the uh, redirect url now the redirect url will be say any external url i haven't tried this option uh, feel free to try this option and see whether you can actually navigate from uh, like an internal pages to an external pages or not okay so that's it folks this is all about redirecting uh, your log off page to an internal page and you can use snippets you can use site markers or you can use a hard-coded url thanks for watching